So in this video, we're going to go over tapping on the mill. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of drilling and then we're going to get right into the tapping. Uh, the process that we're going to use is more of a manual way of tapping. Uh, there, there is other styles. There's like power tapping and stuff like that, but we're not going to get into that in this class. It's a little bit more of an advanced uh, process. So what we're going to do next is we're going to zoom in to the drill bit here and we're going to just drill it out and then I'm going to show you how to tap it, okay? Okay, so we want to make sure that we're spinning the uh, drill bit in the correct direction. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put some oil on there first. Because you always want to have lots of oil when you're drilling or when you're tapping. We're going to go ahead and just go a little bit further. Just a light pressure is all you're doing. Until you're down to the depth you want. Next, we're going to pull that drill bit out. Oops, don't drop it, you'll break them. Make sure we clean off all the chips. And we're going to install what they call a live center. Live center works like this. You can just put a little bit of pressure on it. Or this is called a spring center, I'm sorry. Um, and you just put a little bit of pressure on it and there's a spring inside of there. We're going to install this in that drill chuck. Uh, go in. I try to install it all the way to the back of the drill chuck if possible. Go ahead and tighten it down. Then we're going to take our tap handle and our tap that's already installed. We're doing a 3 8 tap right now. We're going to go ahead and I put oil all over it. I go ahead and put some in the hole too. Never can have enough. And then see it's going to hold itself in there. There's a little nub or a, almost a little hole or divot that the, that spring center pushes into. I go ahead and bring it down a little bit more. We're going to go ahead and lock that in place and then we're just going to start rotating the tap you're going to feel it start to bite almost immediately. I usually do about two turns and then I start going back. We go about half to a full turn, back, half, back. And you're just working it back and forth. The reason you're going back is just to break the chips. And we just keep working it in. Always, always good to add a little bit of oil as you're going along. Something you don't appreciate until you break a tap off. That oil really helps you. Working back and forth. Until you get to the bottom of the hole. And once you're to the bottom of the hole, if you're doing a blind hole, which I believe if you're doing the bolt block, we're doing blind holes, it's going to be a very, um, a very hard stop. If you continue past that, it'll be very easy to break this bit off or this uh, tap off, so don't do that. Next, I'm just going to raise up my, my spring center. And we're just going to rotate this out, or unthread it, I guess now. Uh, a lot further in there than I thought it was. There. And then now you're all done. You're just going to clean out your threads and then make sure they're decised. The the beauty of this spring center chuck design is. It's keeping everything perfectly aligned so that you don't have to do any of that work. Earlier on in the course, you had to tap one by hand, and it's very difficult to get the tap to go in the hole straight. And this just eliminates all of that problem. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about tapping on the mill.